Hey YouTube, it's Andrew here at Zokomu TV. I am excited to announce the beginning of my new series, Conservation Spotlight. And this uh, series has kind of been inspired by one, I'm just passionate about stewardship of the planet, but also um, July is Plastic Free July. So what that means is it's basically an effort around the world where companies get together and they try to improve the Earth's um, waste of plastic and recycling and just overall reduction of plastic use. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Um, if you learn anything today, please share it with your friends and family, especially if you're passionate about um, overall stewardship of the planet, especially in regards to plastic. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, as always, please comment below in the comments. Thanks for watching. Today's video is a first in my new series, Conservation Spotlight, where I talk about different companies who've dedicated themselves to different conservation efforts around the world. So for today's video is 4Ocean. So a little bit of background, 4Ocean is dedicated to clean the ocean of the world's plastic. This is really important to me because I'm from Southern California. I fell in love with the ocean at a very young age. Um, we would take trips to the tide pools. And I just I just really love the ocean. So the conservation of the ocean is really important to me, especially cleaning the ocean because it's just littered with plastic. We have the different plastic gyres floating around in the ocean, um, the plastic garbage patches as they're called. And um, it's just really important that we clean those up because the ocean really supports life around the entire planet. So without further ado, here is a little bit about 4Ocean and why they're, they are today's company spotlight. So the cool thing about 4Ocean is they are what's known as a public benefit corporation. Um, so they're not a non-profit, they're actually a for-profit company. It's just in their company charter they are dedicated to um, benefiting the public. So what what 4Ocean has done is actually really ingenious. They have actually sold the idea of cleaning the ocean of the world's plastic. So let's just review a little bit about 4Ocean in their background. So here's their homepage, 4Ocean.com. Uh, they are a purpose-driven business with a mission to end the ocean plastic crisis, which is pretty cool. And actually, every item you purchase, you pull a pound of plastic out of the ocean. And here you can see one of their crew members netting some debris out of the ocean into one of their their boats. So that's really pretty cool there. Um, and really fascinating thing is, since the company was founded, they've pulled over 9.3 million pounds of plastic out of the ocean um so if that doesn't amaze you that that's definitely a number to think about because 9.3 million pounds of plastic that's how much that that doesn't even scratch the surface of how much plastic is in the ocean and here you see it's a little little rotating banner of the different trash they've taken out of the different locations the week of 628 jasmine please stop um so we can actually click here and view their progress. And this is a cool little trick that they have. So it says, our impact cleaning the ocean, rivers, and coastlines one pound at a time. Now it seems like a very long, painstaking process, but hey, someone's got to do it and they're doing it. And here's their boats just going through. These guys look like they're having fun on their way to clean the trash. Seems like a pretty, pretty cool dream job. <laughs> if I had a different life. Um, so their global cleanup pro operation, that's the interesting thing, they're located all over the world. So here we have a crew in Bali, Indonesia. This is actually where they started, was in Bali, Indonesia. They have another location in Porto Prince, Haiti, another one in Puerto Barrios, Guatemala, and then they have their fourth location in South Florida, United States. You can click on these, on these different tabs to learn more if you want. So to save you time, I won't click on these today, but you can you can click on these for more information in the future. In fact, I'm going to full screen so this is easier for you to see. All right, so for every pound pulled, it's documented and tracked. So what they do here, this is the process. Um, the first photo is the crew who's going to be cleaning that day. Here's just second step is all the debris that's on the beach. Um, sometimes they'll just clean directly from the ocean, but in this case they're cleaning directly from the beach. Uh, step three, they're taking pictures of the crew actually doing the cleanup, and then here they are, the beach after it's been cleaned. It's not 
entirely clean, but hey, it looks a lot better than it did before. <laughs> um, here's all the recovered plastic in the, the groups together. Here's a crew that's done it. Good job, guys. Uh, here's the next step. They weigh the individual bags, know how much they've taken out, and they have a trash, tack, trash tracker documentation sheet that they can keep track of all these things. And they have documentation of their trash from when they first started. And the seventh thing is the different bags and the different weight. And the next one is step eight. They have the sacks and they stack them all together, and that's where they kind of combine them in their facilities. Um, so they have different methods of recovering the plastic. They have their people, obviously, the different vessels transported and also put them in. They have their boom systems. Um, they put these in rivers. So as rivers flow into the ocean, these boom systems will actually catch them. And these skimmers that they have over here, they actually use these a lot in harbors. They'll use these to clean up harbors and riverways, which is pretty cool, neat system. It has these little hooks here that catches the debris and pushes them into this little tracker thing and it has a little bucket in the back. And once they've collected the, the plastic, um, they bring it all together and then they end up sending it back to uh, recycling plants so it can be reused and recycled for um, further use in the industry. So that's pretty cool. And there's a video here you can watch it later on your own accord. Just go to 4Ocean and look at our impact. Um, and they're also trying to address the solution to the problem. It's one thing to treat the problem. It's another thing to actually treat the um, thing causing the symptom. Um, so they're trying to change consuming habits, and we'll look at this shortly in the shop. But just changing people's mindset with the ocean, just treating it better, respecting it, and how to better maintain it, how not to trash it. Um, and as a company, they're really putting their money where their mouth is, and the entire supply chain is environmentally responsible. So that's a really cool thing they're doing. And again, they're putting their money where their mouth is. They donated $450,000 to ocean cleanup organizations. That's really, really impressive. Um, another thing they have here, they have different products. And I'll, we'll touch on these later, but these are some pretty cool bracelets you can get to support their cause. Um, so we'll go back to their home page here. Uh, impact. And there's just some more things. Pound Plus. They actually have this new thing where you can give them $10. And for every $10 you give them, they'll pull one pound. So if you give them $100, they'll pull 10 pounds. So I think that's pretty cool for people who just want to give them money and say, hey, clean up the ocean for us. So again, ingenious idea. They've sold the idea of cleaning the ocean. It's ingenious because government fails to do that constantly. At the Clean Ocean Club, basically you subscribe, get a new bracelet every single month, and you're part of their Clean Ocean Club. So that's pretty cool. Now let's look at their About section. All right, so click here. They're basically just here to clean the coastlines and clean up plastic. So the founders, Alex and Andrew, they were on a beach in Bali, and I believe they were surfing, and they questioned a local about why it was so dirty, and he said... Um, no one's just really cleaned it before. So they were really concerned about that, and that's where they got the idea of just cleaning up the ocean. Um, so the second page here, um, they decided to just hire a bunch of employees to help clean up the ocean. So they had crews and boats. Um, they had this, they originally started this vessel here to clean up the ocean directly, but they actually recently sold this. It was a sad story, but they just couldn't afford it anymore. Um, but to support their business model, they needed some way to fund it. So what they did is they started selling these bracelets. This four ocean bracelet is basically what started everything. So for $20, you can buy a bracelet to help fund their efforts. And I'm very happy to say that my wife and I did recently purchase a couple bracelets to help support four ocean. And uh, we will show you those shortly. <laughs> All right. So the final thing is um, they've collected a lot of pounds of plastic, but they're going to need to really work a lot with education, the public, and that's kind of what I'm trying to do as um, a supporter of 4Ocean, is just help educate everyone why this is important. And this is why I'm starting my new series, Conservation Spotlight. And for Plastic Free July, I'm gonna be highlighting 4Ocean. This is just the first step. I'm also gonna highlight a couple other organizations as well. Um, so that's about how they got started. 
So again, they're a purpose-driven business. This has a cool little graphic map to describe how they work. So we, the consumers, we buy for ocean products and now we can actually give them money directly. And this goes to all their different means of cleaning up the ocean. So we have the global cleanup team, we have different tech that allows them to do it easier, uh, a little different education awareness, stops putting plastic in the ocean altogether, then more research and all this funds uh, funnels down to cleaning the ocean and coastlines and then making reusable materials, specifically plastic. Um, and then again, we come back to four ocean products and they're just a company that sustains, sustainably cleans the ocean, which is very, very fascinating and I, I'm a huge supporter. Um, and this is where their commitments lie. So they're a member of 1% for the planet, 1% of their proceeds actually go to uh, conservation organizations around the world. Um, their t-shirts are made from uh, organic cotton, um, so no polyester to um, pollute the oceans as they say. So that's pretty cool that they have that certification there. Um, Global Recycled Standard, their bracelets are made from recycled plastic and they actually have recycled glass on the beads. And I believe 5% of those beads are made from ocean glass, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, the Better Business Bureau uh, just tracks them. That's good to know that there's a third party out there keeping track of the business, making sure that it's being staying ethical and doing what it's saying it's doing. And then Green Circle certified. Um, the bracelets are at least 90% post-consumer recycled plastic. Um, <clears throat> and then there's just some recognition about 4Ocean and how they're doing a pretty good job for them. Um, and then at the end of this about section, they have this really cool quote from um, Sylvia Earle, who's one of the first scuba divers, um, says, why is it that scuba divers and surfers are some of the strongest advocates of ocean conservation? Because they've spent time in and around the ocean and they've personally seen the beauty, the fragility, and even the degradation of our planet's blue heart. I think that's a really key thing to say is that the more and more we step away from our natural resources, our forests, our oceans, our beaches, our prairies, our plains, our deserts, the more and more we just stay huddled up in our cities, is I think it's the less we care about our Earth's natural resources. And I think that's a huge, huge issue we've had in the past few decades is people just have just completely separated themselves from nature. So I really like that they have this quote from Sylvia Earle. It really touches on kind of the problem is that we just, I think a lot of people just don't care anymore, but we can definitely change that. That's what I'm doing this video for. Um, so the next thing I want to talk about is um, how to get involved with 4Ocean. They have this little COVID-19 update. They actually had to shut down some of their operations temporarily because of the coronavirus, which is pretty sad, but um, they're rebounding, which is pretty cool. Um, they have some community cleanups. So they came together and they removed a lot of class bottle caps and straws. So that was pretty cool. Um, they have this um, thing that happened in Florida. So it's just really cool how they have different ways to involve the communities to help clean up the ocean. Um, you can even volunteer with a crew, which is cool. So you can just sign up as a volunteer. Um, and there's these different ways to help um, get to know for ocean and the next thing I want to highlight now is their shop so what kind of products do they have where people can um, help fund for oceans resources so first and foremost is the bracelets um, this is what started for ocean and how they can fund their resources so it's twenty dollars for one bracelet they have either these braided ones or braided with glass beads um, they're actually kind of cool they're a way to identify yourself as someone who supports ocean conservation so i'm very happy to say that my wife and i purchased our very first bracelets so i will show you those to you at the end of this video um, the next thing is single use alternatives so they have these cool um tumbler rambler things they've partnered with yeti it looks like so you can get a um four ocean reusable drinkable container they have these um collapsible straws you can carry around with you it looks like you can actually put it on your keychain so I might actually get myself one of these. If you can put it on your keychain, I might get one. But it's a collapsible straw, so you can carry around with you to restaurants. So you don't need a plastic straw, you can just use that. Um, Lovers Trio, 
Um, and I believe they have hats. So if you like wearing hats, if you're a hat guy, you can buy a hat. Um, they have cleanup gear that you can get. Um, and they also have reusable bags and they also have shirts. So that's pretty cool. A lot of different ways that you can support Fortune those ways. But now let's let's get next to their bracelets. Hey guys, I had to cut this video short in respect of time. Um, if you learned something about Four Ocean today and it kind of inspired you about cleaning up the ocean a little bit more, please share it with your friends and family. It's just, there's so much gunk in the, in the ocean, it's disgusting. Um, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, as always, please uh, ask in the comments below. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys the bracelets that my wife and I got, so please stay tuned for that video. Um, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. All right, thanks guys.